Hey everybody, you know I've been waiting for the electronics to come in for this guy, the voice and the lights. Um, it'll, it should really bring him to life and um, I really wanted to do that and it was a really good price on him. So I pulled the trigger. I've downloaded the instructions though and um, they were in PDF form. I downloaded, printed out some of the pages that were most important to me and um, it's plug and play. So um, we're going to put a battery to it, a 9-volt um, battery, and see what we get. Move you down so you can see. There, ready? Open her up. All ready? Wrap nicely wrapped. Oh, there she is. Isn't that beautiful? Everything in there ready to go. We got the um, the fiber optics, the um, LED lights. Got a number of those. Fiber optics are going to be tough. I I always have a tough time with those, but you got to be patient and live and learn. I see a button switch there. Now, see right here is the battery connection. Um, so that's what we'll do. The um, the maker's information is right here. I'll show that at the end, and I'll put his information down below because you should go to his website. He makes some really interesting things. For modeling, bring your models to the real life. Here, let me put on some more light here so we can see what we got going on. Get over here. All right. Let's put it out on the bubble wrap. Oh, he sent, looks like he sent the tubing. Um, I wasn't sure if that's something I would have had to pick up myself. Very good. Let's see. I don't want to go crazy here. Speaker. So this... I, Wonder if this just activates the light and the voice is run by something else. And let's see what we got. Excellent. Perfect. It's beautiful. I haven't really looked at the instructions enough to know where the fiber optics are going and where you what end goes where but we'll figure all that out this is the voice package all right and this switch here activates the voice follow the wires And this is the light that activates when the voice what? Danger, danger, Will Robinson. That's pretty awesome, right? Now, turn the speaker over. My power cells are extremely low. Now, now I'm fired up and I'm ready to start building this thing. I can't wait. Oh, that's pretty awesome. He says, uh, I think, 16 different sayings that are, you know, well-known from the show. So this thing's going to get his uh, 
real as we can get it. Looking forward to it. The information, the guy who put this together or the studio that put together is called Starling. Here's his information right there. Now that we know that everything works as it should. When I was on their site, I saw some of the other things he makes and uh, got inspired to do some things. But I always wanted to do, I saw a model. I'm not sure if it's a Polar Lights or a Mobius, but it's the tripod walkers from um, War of the Worlds. And it's part of a diorama. It comes with some broken buildings that these walkers are destroying. And um, they sell a lighting kit for that. It actually has the, the rays coming out of the, uh, the robot's guns, for lack of a better term. And um, I always had this vision of doing, buying those, that robot, getting rid of the city diorama part of it, and having it at sea, having these walkers, you know, knee deep if they have knees, walking in the water, destroying ships, destroying a naval ship, something like that. Maybe both of them ganging up on, on a warship. So that may happen, especially now that I seen that I can get my hands on that, the electronics for it without making my own. I mean, to do this, to do this yourself, put this together beyond my scope right now. Learning all the time, but I'm not ready to do this and to be able to buy these things at fairly inexpensive price is awesome. So without further ado, I'm going to get everything out of the box and um, start assembling. It's going to be a, a process. It's going to take a few videos because... I want to paint as I go along. Uh, there's, you know, different color, different areas on the robot. Take different paints. Everything has to be masked off. Um, so there's some thought that goes into that, into the, the planning on building it. So I'm going to get to that, and that'll be in the next video where we start putting this thing together. I wanted to give a shout out to. Uh, fellow YouTuber. Uh, his name's Dan Monroe. His uh, channel is Dan Monroe uh, Media Master Design. I'll put a link down below um, in the, dis in the des description. Um, he does um, videos um, on all things like television, um, the history of things that are, on the, that are on the TV, such as the robot. He did one video um, when I was doing some research about the robot, he did one on the history of the robot, what he's been through through the years with all the changes made to him and things he was used for. He talks about the actor that was in, originally in the, in the costume. Um, and it, it's very interesting. Shows, um, discusses the designer of it, the original designer, and I guess that guy used to make washing machines. And I kind of see the, the tub design there. So it was very interesting. Go see his channel. It's uh, Media Master Design. He kind of um, motivated me to do this. Um, so, yeah, go check him out. Not a Stanley Cup. It's just as good, and I didn't have to stand in line. Or wrestle anyone for it. All right, I'll see you in the next video.